This is Words. Guy. Guy is a male given name, although not a very common one these days. It's from the name Guido, which appears in German and Spanish-speaking countries. Guy is also the name of a wire or rope that helps support a tent or the mast on a yacht. That's from a different root, the old French guy meaning guide. But by far its most common usage is in reference to a male or sometimes either gender, for example, hey you guys. It's used by English speakers around the globe all the time. But how did we come to call people guys? Well, it goes back to 1605 and the failed assassination attempt against the King of England, King James I, which came to be known as the Gunpowder Plot. The guy behind it was Guy Fawkes. This was him. He was actually part of a group of 13, but he's the one who people remembered. Anyway, King James got away unscathed, Guy Fawkes was hanged, and later that year, Londoners were encouraged to celebrate the King's escape and the conviction of Fawkes and his co-conspirators by lighting bonfires. It became an annual celebration on the 5th of November, known as Guy Fawkes Night, and it continues in the UK to this day, however it's not as popular as it once was. Effigies of Guy Fawkes, and later any divisive political figure, were burned in the bonfires. Known simply as Guys, kids would make the effigies out of scrap material sometimes weeks in advance and parade them through the streets asking for money. These effigies, these guys, were dressed in whatever mismatched clothing the kids could find. The more eccentric, the better. After about a hundred years of this, Guy had come to describe men who were badly dressed. By the mid 20th century, Guy had come to mean any male, and towards the end of the 20th century, it was being applied to either gender, and in some contexts, even objects. Thanks for watching Words. If you liked it, click subscribe. Cheers. And just drop down and get your eagle on Or we can stay up at the stars and put the beaters on All the shit you talk